Brave girl. Okay, so this film has been described as a psychological time traveling crime drama. How was it pitched to you? The way it, it, it came across to me when I read it was it's just an unconventional love story between an uncle and his niece. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what I mean by that is, you know, love has various forms. That's true. And um, I just love the fact that with this film, I got to express what I certainly feel towards my own children yes. um, in terms of being prepared to do anything to keep them from harm. But when you see it through the gaze of an uncle towards his niece, it also does that thing that I deeply believe in, which is that love is sacrificial. Mm -hmm. You know, an uncle who has that kind of love for his niece, that's a choice. Yes. That's not a given, that's the true. way it is for a father and his children. And it premiered at Sundance, mm -hmm. and then it was tweaked a bit before yeah. it was released wide. How did it change from the version at Sundance to what we see now? Well, you know, even at Sundance, it was called Relive, okay. um, as opposed to being called uh, Don't Let Go. The Sundance version was more tied to the sci-fi of it all. Okay. And we realized that the beating heart of this movie is that relationship mm -hmm. between the uncle and, and niece. And so we skewed it more towards being an emotional film as opposed to uh, uh, more intellectual. <laughs>